right, hi, this is Charlie, and what we're going to do now is learn to connect to an EC2 instance without ever touching, well, we'll touch our hard drive, but without ever running any programs on our hard drive. The scenario here is let's suppose that um, we're on a totally locked down machine. We can't get at, we can't install anything. We can't install PuTTY, we can't install OpenSSH, we can't install SIGWIN. Um, we're just totally locked down. We can't do anything. All we've got is a Chrome browser. <clears throat> How do we proceed? Well, let's go ahead and create our instance first. We'll go up to um, AWS. We'll go to e EC2. We'll um, go ahead and we'll launch an instance. And we're going to choose a free tier instance. And this will be in an Ubuntu 64-bit um, server. And we'll go ahead and we'll select that. And we've chosen the free tier. Make sure it's got the free tier on there unless you don't want that. And then you can configure your instance. We don't care about anything on this page. We don't care about anything on this page. We want to tag our instance and we'll call this instance delete me 2 since we're going to want to remember to delete this since this is just something we're making for a video. Of course, you might name it something else in your case. In our security, um, let's create a new security um, group and we'll um, provide HTTP unless you want something else. Um, you could also add if you wanted HTTPS. So we'll add those two ports, keep them open. We need 22, which is our primary one in order to get in with um, <clears throat> SSH. It's only one you really need but I'm popping these ones in too because they're so commonly used. And then um, we could review everything and it looks like we're just gonna go ahead now and launch it. And then we can create a new key pair unless you've got an existing one that you wanna use, but I would, in this case, I'm assuming you haven't done anything. So we'll create the, and also I wanna show you how to handle this step. We'll collate the delete me 2 key pair and we'll download the key pair so it's getting downloaded to my machine you can see I did a dry run here once before uh, I wrote did this video so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch the instance so now it's out there launching <clears throat> and um, that'll take a few minutes so we can see the instance over here um, this is the one O2 here that's um, currently pending. It's going to take a moment to gen up. So we're going to go over now and associate an elastic IP address. I happen to have one available. If you didn't, you could choose this allocate a uh, new address, but we're not going to allocate one. I have one right now, which I'll associate with it. And um, remember at this stage if you're creating new instances you need to have an elastic IP with a VPC scope so you might need if you've got some old ones hanging around you might need to create a new one at any rate let's associate this and we can come out here and look and here's my delete me 2 instance and so we'll associate it with the delete me 2 instance okay so now we've got all that going and we're simply sitting here waiting at this time for this guy to finish initializing. Right now you can see he's still in this initializing phase over here. So we're going to bop over to Code Anywhere and what we want to do now is we want to convert. We, we need a, in order to connect the way we want to connect, we need not only our private key but also a public key. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose Upload and I'm going to now, what I'll do is um, excuse me, I should have known I was going to have to do this at some point. So I'll come over here. I'll come over to my downloads folder. There's that delete me 2 PIM file. And what I'll do with it is I'll simply drag it onto here. And now I've dragged it over where it'll be available in code anywhere. And I'm going to upload it. And then when I'm done, I'm done. 
and here it is sitting in my um, delete me soon folder. So if I come over here, I can see there's the delete me o2 pem file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a public key based on that private key. So SSH, I believe it's called keygen dash y dash f. Do I have this right? Delete me o2 pem. And what I want it to do is produce a file called delete me o2.pub. Oh, and it's unhappy because it thinks that the delete me o2 has two broad privileges. If we look up here, we can see it's got it's wide open. Everybody can read and write from it, or at least too many people can. So what we'll do is we'll chamod to 400 the delete me delete me o2 pem file, and then we'll try that command again. And this time it seems to have worked. Okay. So now let's come over here and you know how code anywhere it is. Sometimes it just needs to be refreshed to show stuff that's going on. And then let's go ahead and download this pub file. So now it's being downloaded. It's probably downloaded and we can come over here and we can see these two files and, um, I could leave them right here, but just, Forgive me, I have a slight tendency to put things of this nature in a particular place on my system, which I hi highly recommend that you also do. So I'll paste these guys in. And for this next step, um, let's get rid of the extension on the PEM file. It just so happens that that's the right thing to do in this particular case. Now, I'm going to come over here to a tool called the Secure Shell. And if I went up onto the web store here, the Chrome web store, I could search for secure shell and there it is. And you can see I've already installed it, but you would have a little one that says free and you would install it. And then when you're done, you've got this guy here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new connection. And the first thing we care about is loading in our keys. So we'll come over here, we'll find the delete me 2 key and we'll we'll find the delete me 2 key and we'll open it. And we'll also delete the delete me 2 um we'll load the delete me 2 pub key. And then now you can see that key is installed here. Okay. You needed both the private key and the public key and the private key had to have no extension. Okay. So now I'm going to call this connection delete me O2 and the username's going to be Ubuntu because we're up there on one of those instances. And then we'll cruise over here to the um, EC2 instance, which we can see is now up and running, and we'll go to the um, Elastic IPs, and we'll grab our Elastic IP, we'll copy it, we'll come back over here to code any, no we won't, we'll come back over here to the EC2 thing, to the secure shell thing, we'll paste that in, and then we'll just do another tab to get out of that area and now you can see it looks like we're ready to connect. We've given it a name, we've given it a username, we've just specified the IP address and we've loaded the keys. So now we come up here and okay. So actually I'm glad this happened because this is classic. I'm what I'm doing right now <clears throat> is I've um I'm gonna choose C to get me back to here. What happened was I've already connected with this IP address, but to a different machine, right? I think you can see I did a dry run here before I did the video and I did connect it to delete me. And it has the same um, elastic IP address as this. I disassociated the IP address from this one and connected it from this one. So this meant that somebody thinks that SSH thinks I'm trying to spoof it. 
So what you should do at this point is to um, bring up the um, you you want to bring up the developer tools, which classically we do by pressing F12, right? And it brings up the developer tools and you go to the console and then you type in this command. And here it is. He puts it in his little directions for this thing. He says, if all else fails, just delete the darn SSH directory. And that remove the SSH directory. And sorry about this. This is the only thing it also did was remove our uh, keys, which you probably wouldn't mind watching me do it again anyhow. So I'll import again the private key and I'll import again the public key, and now you can see Delete Neo 2 is connected again to this guy. We've removed all of our old files that told us we'd already connected. It's the known host file that needed to be deleted, but I don't know any better way to delete it than what I just did. And now I'm going to connect, and it says, you sure? To see, it says it doesn't know anything about that machine now, and then it says, I'm permanently removing it, and now I'm in, okay? So now I'm happily doing everything that I need to do at the command prompt for my um, EC2 instance. And, and I can go ahead and run and <clears throat> do everything. <clears throat> the key point was I needed to have access to a hard drive to store my PEM files, but otherwise I did everything in the cloud, right? There was no need for me to install PuTTY, no need for me to install SSH to have access to anything. It was all done totally in the cloud, and yet now I've got a fully, I have complete access to a, <clears throat> a root access to a Ubuntu server running in the cloud, and I can do whatever I want. It's just great, you know? It's really great that we can just walk into any old lockdown machine and <clears throat> start doing this kind of stuff. It's really fantastic. Um, I should perhaps mention while we're in here that it it is possible also to set up um, um, to set up an SSH connection over here inside of um, inside of. Uh, whatever it's called, code anywhere. I won't walk you through that, but if you just wanted to do everything in code anywhere, you could also do it in there too. You can also, it's essentially a, a secure shell. The key key thing of course is to um, set it up by private key and then you'd paste that PEM file, the delete me 2 PEM file right in there. But let's, uh, I, I think in some ways it's nice to be free of, of um, code anywhere at certain times. Um, and right now, this allows us to do that. And you can see we've totally updated that. All right, I'm rambling on. So let's end this video and continue to compute up in the cloud as much as possible and always have fun. Just stop when you're getting frustrated and take a break and come back and then you'll know what to do. Um, oh, I know something else I could possibly say here about this, sorry. Um, a couple of the commands that we're talking about right now if you wanted a little rundown of this you could do it um, here on this page um There's some, uh, a little link there to um, some of the details of what we did today. Okay, bye now. Thanks.